Joe's work is never done, it appears. I'm over at a friend's house, and instead of me being at the beach in Maui, where am I? I'm here fixing a hose bib for him. He said this hose is leaking continuously. It's pushed, it's turned off all the way. They can't leave the hose off here because it keeps dripping. Let's see how much it drips anyways. There it is. Drippity drip. Like that all day long, 24 hours a day. We can't have that. And I see another little interesting thing here. You see that? This here was attached. Okay, it slips on there like that. It's on there. Then there's a set screw up there. There's a wire there. You see that wire there? That's a ground wire. That's a copper wire coming from underneath the deck. And for some reason, they wanted to ground something else. So they used this little contraption here. Let's see if I can uh, zoom it back a little bit. It's got a little slot on there like that. As you put it, this was on here from before, you know. Let's see. I'm going to have to put this on again. See, it was on there like that. Then you tighten this up and you put the, the copper wire through there, through this other little hole, and screw it in there. And that grounds something to the water line. Sometimes if you have to ground something, there's an idea for you. Okay, we'll, we'll mess, mess with that later because first we've got to take this off. Now, at first glance, it looks pretty easy, doesn't it? Well... And actually, thank goodness, it is going to be easy. See, this pipe here comes out onto the hose bib. You look back in here, there's a fitting back in there. And you see right in there, there's some white, that's some Teflon tape. And I can feel on there, it looks like there's some threads right there and it goes into a, a copper fitting there. I think all we gotta do is loosen that up and unscrew it and put another hose bib on there. Now there's where the tricky part comes into play. They might not have that exact same one at the hardware store, you know? And for you to take that off first and run it up to the hardware store, you're going to have to remember you've got to shut the water off to the house. Or if you're lucky, if there's a water line shut off that just shuts off your outside water, your hose bib or something, you can turn it off there. But you're going to have to find the main water source coming in to the house before you shut that off. Don't try taking that off before. Okay, so if you don't want to do that, you want to go down to the store first. If you're kind of undecided as to what size copper fitting that is or brass fitting or whatever, you've got to do some measuring. Let's measure that real quick and find out what size it is. You first, you can take a tape measure and measure the outside dimension, and that looks like about three quarters of an inch, doesn't it? See there? About three quarters of an inch. One, two, three of those long lines between the one and the two is a quarter inch, so you got a quarter, half, three quarters. Right about there. Now, when you go to the store, that is not a three-quarter inch pipe. That's a half-inch pipe, okay? Because the side of your pipe is probably a quarter inch thick, and you got a quarter inch thick over there. So if you subtract a quarter and a quarter, or an eighth and an eighth, I'm sorry, an eighth of an inch here, eighth of an inch over here, that's a quarter inch. So three-quarters outside dimension minus a quarter would be half-inch. There's your first tip. You go to the hardware store, you think, oh yeah, three-quarter inch, yeah. 
get something for that, come back, and uh, surprise, it's not right. Okay, there's your first tip of the day. Now here's something else to consider. Most of the time, lots of hose bibs, when you go to the hardware store, you've got just this piece and it doesn't connect onto a little nipple. This is a pipe nipple, but it's attached to this um, hose spigot, okay? Lots of times it just stops here and there'll be inside threads, female threads on that. You take it off there, you screw another piece on, and voila. In this case, we don't have that. All right, so you've got to look and see what kind of hose bib you have, what size pipe, what size fittings on the end, and all that before you go to the store. Make some measurements, take a picture of it even if you have to, that's a good idea. Take a picture and show it to the hardware salesman, tell them what you want, and that'll be a good way to do it. Here's just a few types of hose bibs. See this hose bib? I mean, it's really not the right one. Look how big the threads are here. The big thing there, that's, it says garden valve on it, three quarter inch garden valve, but we know it's not three quarter inch, don't we? It's half inch. And even if you could make that work, maybe you want your hose bib to stick out the other way. You know what I mean? Now it's kind of, it's it's kind of funky it's a little bit different it'll still work if that was a half inch you go with something something like this but I wouldn't suggest that you know you've got a little handle here you could turn it you could turn it on or that's off on now see this has male threads on it and we know that's gonna be um, that one actually is gonna be male threads too because that piece going in there is attached to that now how do we know that for sure I'll show you in a minute and see the person who was telling the other person what to get at the store they were throwing them off because they thought it was three-quarter inch because they measured the outside they even got a piece here because they thought they thought this piece was sweated onto here and they could put that on there and then solder that on and then screw this on all that you know what I mean that wasn't the case was it that won't even work because this is half inch lucky for me I looked at that I contemplated it I wasn't quite sure it sure seemed like this was nice and smooth and generally they don't have a pipe coming out with with the uh, the hose bib soldered on right there especially with the uh, with the nut on there where you can put your wrench on and everything so when I went to the store I looked and look at that that's exactly the same now see this is a brass piece it's all welded on here and everything that looks exactly the same doesn't it and I looked before and I knew the the nipple was about this big and this is half inch and it says it even says half inch on there half inch by three quarter inch hose that means this end here's three quarter inch this is half now see when you measure this on the outside I'm just gonna hold it at the one it looks like three quarter inch that's the outside Let's see how it's eighth inch and eighth inch you measure the inside dimension and you're right at half an inch okay so I know this is half inch you always go with the inside dimension. Okay, so that looks simple enough, doesn't it? I'm going to shut the power off, or shut the power, shut the water off, unscrew that one, screw this one back in. And I've even got some Teflon tape. That's how we're going to install it. We're going to use this Teflon tape on the threads and put it back in there. This should go rather smoothly, I think. 